Hey everyone, Greg Artero here. I wanted to share with you uh, these new cool little toys that came in. And we have uh, the uh, Seal of Solomon, Star of David, the Hexagram. Uh, I got a bunch of different pieces 3D printed. Ha ha ha. And uh, I wanted to like speak to them because uh, when I first discovered Vortex Based Mathematics eight years ago, this is the concept I honed in on and I've been developing ever since. And these guys are all stainless steel bronze mixes uh, for a core body, and they're gold plated. Even though we're in the black and white, I like the neutral gray uh, in my expression. Uh, the, they're all gold plated, except for this one right here, which is uh, nickel plated. Um, and we got these little guys, little Star of Davids. We have a pentagram. Ooh. We have an octogram with an 8 2 ratio. Um, and that, these are all the, this is like the embodiment, this is not like, it is the embodiment of these mathematical constants that make up our reality. And so, uh, the square root of two relates to this guy right here. And, uh, the thing I want to like communicate and like more than anything, and I'm going to do my very best to articulate this in the now, because it's sometimes way theoretically out there, but... What's beautiful about this is when I place this in my hand, and that my hand chakra interacts with it, is the the thing that I can study firsthand versus hooking up to all this testing equipment and be like, hey, is this working? Is how quick does it respond to my intent? In that uh, the intent, your intent can enable chi to flow. There's many ways to describe this chi as scalar waves, magnetic vector potential, da 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 da. There's so many jargons but really it's it's a one-dimensional energetic flow the helical flow and what enables this is intent and uh i had the same one before but it wasn't gold plated it was just the stainless steel bronze mix and it didn't really respond much to intent with the gold plating it's a whole different ball game and so uh as soon as i tune into it it starts uh, a momentum starts building up into it tremendously and especially if I place a quartz crystal in the center, it amplifies even more. And so, you got like a cool little one right there. Uh, it's gonna get to stand up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, it's we're taking physics and we're applying it to consciousness. We're applying it to perception. In that there is these perceptual machines that we can create that are entirely new level of perception itself of how we're engaging our reality and so it's the process of perceiving of my intent into this coil how fast does it accelerate and that the awareness the response to awareness intent has an accelerative aspect and so one reason that many people have a hard time with manifestation or understanding the metaphysical mechanisms of manifestation is that there's a delay with our intent and something coming forth in reality in, the, in a simple grounded sense, we put ideas forth uh, and you want to translate it into something real. You know, an artist having a, a, an idea and, and turning it into a, a piece of work, there's a, there's a process, there's time that goes into it before it actually comes into manifestation. And I mean, this goes in terms of putting ideas into motion, which the universe synchronistically aligns and brings those experiences um, into perception. And so there's an accelerative aspect. Since 2012, that accelerative aspect of our intent manifesting before us has actually increased drastically. And it's affecting many of our experiences. This technology is a concept which embodies that process in terms of how does it accelerate the intent. It's like as my intent goes into it, it allows tentacles of energy to flow out into existence and to pull things together. It creates a pressure gradient. Our manifestation relates to pressure. Just with any energy system, the financial system is, is based on pressure gradients. And there's, there's so much in our physical world that comes forth from pressure gradients, understanding vortices, tornadoes, hurricanes. These are the weather systems in general. They're all pressure gradients. Uh, pressure systems and so same with intent same with manifestation and so how do we increase the pressure gradient in a regional space of our intent so it translates more into reality and so there, there's so many things that that affect how our world comes into existence and how it interacts with us 
and I'm so thankful for this before me right now and how beautifully it responds to my intent and uh, being its satisfaction that uh, I feel is at least decently compliant, not to the level of a crystalline coil, which I'm looking forward to having some crystalline metals at my disposal to work with. Um, that's a whole other conversation. Um, but what these coils really translate into in terms of how they are the analog to a crystal. These are the perfections of, of our metallic substrates into a uh, inversion of everything. These are mirrors. Now, the double helix has these nice little crevices to where light actually bounces and traps in. These are vorticular sinks, except it's like a toroidal vorticular sink, a helical sink. All these concepts we think about are all within this in terms of flow forms and their, ge and their associated geometries. And so, um, yeah, that was the idea I wanted to lay out there. And uh, I'm so thankful that these guys are responding to intent the way I've been imagining for a long time. And they get better. They get so much better. So, blessings, everyone. Enjoy yourself. And ciao.